animations was one of the reasons why I picked Green Shift over any other block builder. Block, block plugin. Block plugin? Well, anyway, Green Shift offers a very easy way to get started. They have some preset animations that you can just select and play around with the easing to understand what it does, play around with the duration and the delay, and also have some other interactions there as well. But it doesn't stop there. You can also customize your animations if you want to dive a little bit deeper. So let me show you where you can start off with just the preset animations and how you can customize it in the end. So let's get to it. So here is the WordPress dashboard and I've added an image. You can add anything from GreenShift and it has in the advanced top a animation section. When you click animation type, you have some presets already available for you. You have something like fade, fade up. So there are already some different kinds of presets. Now let's set it to fade up. And here are some easing settings. Easing actually means the speed in which the animation is starting or stopping. So as we can see here, at the start it slows a little bit and in the end it goes like regular. Select ease out. It will slow down at the end of the animation. If we have something like ease in and out, it will slow down in the start and slow down on the end. There are a bunch of animations in here that you can just play around and select the one you like most. There is a website on Webflow that shows the different kind of animations. It will be added in the link down in the description as well. And here you can see what's actually happening when the dot moves 500 pixels in a course of 3 seconds. This will help you understand how easing works a little bit and you need to find out which one works best for your animation you're trying to create. So next is the duration. How long should it last the duration? By default it's 700 milliseconds. If you go up to 1000 as you can see it gets slower. 2000 it gets very slow or even 100 it gets, it gets so fast that you don't even see the animation happening. You can also set a delay for example if you want to wait for the animation to start for an x amount of seconds because another animation is already starting and you want to do it one after another. I have an example on my own website tagis.review as you can see there are all animations happening one by one. Now this is the basic animation type that is available in GreenShift. The animation presets are a very easy way to understand how easing works, how the duration and delay works, so you can have the right timing for each animation happening on your website. I would encourage you to try to recreate the same kind of animations you saw on my website. But what if you would like to have more control over your animations? It would be very nice if you could create an animation that really is according to the look of and feel of your website. Well, GreenShift has you covered. You can also create a custom animation. So let's dive into that one. So in your WordPress dashboard, you can go to animation type and if you scroll all the way down and when you hit custom, you get some other animation options available for you. So here is Shift X. Shift X means it will animate from right to left. And if you put minus in there, it will go from left to right. The same goes for the Y axis, it goes from bottom to top, or if you put minus on it, from top to bottom. If you add to the Z input field, it will slightly zoom in. And when you put minus, it will slightly zoom out. Then you have rotate X, it will rotate on the X axis, make it rotate even more, the Y axis or the Z axis. You can also make the animation scale, maybe a little bit less or change opacity. Now, if you combine all of these things, you can create something like this, a fade up animation or like this. You can also make a dynagical, <laughs> I dynagical, 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 another kind of animation. And you can play around with these settings just to see what's happening actually with a animation. So when does the animation happen? You wonder, well, very good question. Let's save this and let's view it in a new tab so as you can see the animation is happening instantly when the page loads but this animation actually happens only when it's in the viewport so if we add a container 120 view height and we hit save draft and we will refresh the page you will see that there is no image here but if we scroll down there is our image with the animation we set and if we scroll upwards again and scroll downwards again 
the animation is starting again. Now, if you don't want that, you can enable animate one time by toggling the setting. And then when you press hit save, you go to your web page preview. You refresh the page, you scroll downwards. And there's our animation. Now, if you scroll upwards and you scroll down again, the animation isn't happening. So it will only be done once when a person visits your website. Now the animation is happening when it comes into viewport. So what is the viewport? The viewport is everything you see right here. It's from just below the browser bar where you put in your URL until the bottom section here to the left here and then to the right side here on the scroll bar. So that is your viewport. So everything you see on every website. So now you know how you can get started with animations for your website. Easy presets or a little custom animations but what if you want to level up your animations with interactions with your visitor well watch this video next where i go over how i created this awesome animation and how you can do that too and if you're still watching don't hit, forget to hit the subscribe button and as always keep designing